Hello! I'm going to a festival this weekend, so I thought I would film. This is just going to be like a weekend vlog. First, I'm going to eat this breakfast burrito and then get all packed up and ready to go. But yeah, hello! Welcome! Welcome to this vlog. It's too hot to eat right now. Okay, so this is everything I'm taking with me to the festival. The beige bag has all my clothes in it and some toiletries. The black garbage bag, that's my duvet and a pillow. I don't own a sleeping bag. I refuse to buy a sleeping bag. It's just such a boring thing to spend money on. So I just bring my full duvet to every festival that I go to. And then the black backpack just has, I think like most of my alcohol in it. And that's kind of it. That's what I'm taking with me. Because this is a festival in September, it's like a harvest season festival. No one's really trying to look nice. Like everyone's just trying to stay warm. So I basically just packed wool sweaters and that's why I didn't really show you guys what I was packing. It's just like long johns and sweaters and like this camo shirt. So it's nothing super exciting. I hear it. just so full. Today's Monday. I got home from the festival last night around four and to be honest, I kind of felt not good when I got back, which is like so typical after a festival, just like pretty emotionally drained, but it was, that festival was a lot. It was really intense. I feel like I had like a lot more feelings while I was there than I was expecting. And then also just like drank a lot. Too much. So this week, I'm gonna take it easy. Oh my god, last night I watched the entire second season of Fleabag. The hot priest is so good. He's like one of the most incredible characters ever written in TV. Oh my god. Watching that season, I think heals all of my Catholic childhood trauma. It is so good. It's a perfect show. Now I need to eat something. I'm gonna cook some pastina. When I was a kid, my mom called this itty bitty soup, but I, I didn't know that other people didn't call it that. It's just called pastina, but it's still itty bitty soup to me. You just like cook chicken broth and cook like tiny pasta in it. And then you like eat an egg with a bunch of parm and mix it all together and it's so good. I ordered dumplings last night. I have leftovers. I don't even need to make this. Okay, no pastina today. Sorry, we're eating peanut dumplings. Oh, I'm so happy I don't have to cook. Oh. I just found out that I have some packages to go pick up, so I'm just gonna go and grab those. It's actually pretty nice out right now. It's like 25 degrees, even though it's like the middle of September, but this is what I'm wearing. I just have on this shirt. It says Cooperative Sandwich Bank. It's one of my favorite shirts, but it has these giant holes in both armpits because it's so old, but I love it. And I'm just like not willing to get rid of it. And then I'm wearing these shorts that were actually my ex-boyfriend's and they didn't fit him and he very 
kindly gave them to me. They're like the perfect length. And then I just have on my little, my camper, Mary Jane's little white socks. And then I'm gonna take my Olend, my puffy bag. Cause I think I have like six packages to get. I'm just gonna put on my headphones. We're gonna go on a little walk. Oh, I have a new fragrance. Okay, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? It's a little fragrance keychain. It's from Universal Flowering. The scent is fig leaf. It is so beautiful and I haven't put it on yet today. Oh my God, it's the most perfect smell. Oh, I'm so obsessed with it. Mm, it's so good. Like, Look at that cutie little bottle. It's so precious. Guys, this whole bag is full of PR. It's all just PR. And for those of you that know me from Book Talk, you're gonna freak out over this. It is so crazy that people send me stuff like this. Like, I actually can't believe it. I just wanna say thank you to anyone that works at a publishing company that's reached out to me from the marketing department to send me books or like small businesses that send me stuff. It is crazy and I'm so grateful like every day feels like Christmas to me it's really really special thank you so much and I read all the books that I'm sent like it's it's really it just feels crazy everything's open now because I filmed the TikTok but okay this first thing is from a woman named Maya and she owns MFC Studios she's an incredibly talented ceramicist she made me this little dish how cute is that then I was sent these five books. There's actually a sixth one, but it's in a box with a bunch of other stuff that I'll show you. Okay, this is Bluebeard's Castle. This book was written by the woman who directed The Love Witch. Time's Mouth. This book sounds so good. It's about this woman who can like travel through time and experience past memories. And she goes back to 1950s California and lives in a Victorian mansion with a bunch of women. Doesn't that sound amazing? I'm so excited to read this. Okay, New Millennium Boys. My understanding is that this book is kind of like a coming of age novel, but it's like really sick and twisted. There's also a quote from Brett Easton Ellis, the author of American Psycho on the cover, which makes me think it must be like pretty wild. Then Medea by Alicia Quinn. Yeah, Alicia Quinn. Uh, she's just like a very cool queer author. This was sent to me by a literary agent that I know, and I'm so excited to read it. It's a retelling of Greek mythology. I think it's gonna be great. And then I was sent this book called Mercury by Amy Jo Burns. I actually didn't know I was receiving this. I don't know anything about it, but thank you. So Rouge by Mona Awad just came out. I have been looking so forward to reading this book for like a year and I'm gonna show you what's in the box. Okay, so there's a shirt or a tank top. And then it has like the dates for her publicity tour this sheet mask that I'm so excited to use, <laughs> this necklace that I'm kind of confused by, um, but I'm sure when I read the book, I'll know why this was in there, a little mirror, just like a little compact. Here she is. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to read this. For those of you that don't know, Rouge by Mona Awad is about this woman who's obsessed with skincare. And when her mother dies, she goes to her mother's funeral and there's this woman there and she's wearing a red dress and she has like clues about her mother's death and I guess it was like unexpected or uh, it was an untimely demise is how it's described and then this woman who's grieving her mother's death kind of like becomes involved in this like culty spa yeah I'm gonna start reading it tonight oh wait no I have to go to a friend's birthday party well maybe I'll still start reading it tonight a company called Tradlands sent me this really beautiful cardigan and then a dress. And I'm gonna try them on for you because I feel like just showing them like isn't gonna do them justice.
it's my friend JP's birthday today, so we're gonna go to the park. I'm gonna get kind of bundled up. It's getting a little bit colder outside. I wish I could wear this dress, but it's just, I'm gonna be way too cold. So I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna go downstairs to Robin and Cole's, maybe have a little drink, and then we're gonna go outside. I'm just about to go on a walk with Robin and Leia. I don't have class or anything today, so I think maybe I'll like go thrifting later and just make dinner. I don't really have any big plans so far, but I'll just show you what I'm wearing. I just have on this top from Brandy Melville. These jeans are Levi's, my little camper shoes that I always wear. Uh, oh, this bag, Robin made this. Isn't it perfect? It's like, it reminds me of like a cake. Um, yeah, I just like the jewelry I always wear. Yeah, that's it. I just left the antique mall and I had to resist the urge to buy this 80s tool prom dress. It was like the most perfect light blue 80s prom dress that I do not need, but I can't stop thinking about it. And if I can't stop thinking about it by tomorrow, I might go back and get it.